In this tutorial, we're going to run a motion analysis within a motion study. So here we've got a mechanism with a piston, and um, I've got a bunch of mates um, that allow this mechanism to work, but I haven't yet run a motion study. So here you can see in the mates I've put together, I've I've not really put any advanced mates in, and I've done that on purpose, apart from this gear mate, um, to keep things simple so it doesn't confuse the motion study. So in the gear mate, I've got a small cog and large cog, um, and I've got a ratio of 12.5 to 25. So basically, the large cog is twice the size of the small cog. So it's uh, doing half the rotations as the small cog. So just to show you. So this is just with the mates without, this isn't within the motion study at all. So I did with the piston, I was sliding it with a path mate, but I decided in the end to just go with a tangent, tangency mate in the end, it seemed to work just fine. So into the motion study. So in this option, in this area, we have different options we can select. So we have animation, we have basic motion, and then we've got motion analysis. So you've got a bunch of options across this, along this toolbar. So we had analysis, we had contacts, we've got force, damper, springs, we've got a motor, which we're going to use in a second. We can add keyframes, uh, we can check the animation where we can add cameras. Um, we can do lots of different things here. So I'm going to switch from animation to motion analysis. Motion analysis gives us an extra option over here. Um, we can basically do some some kind of like force analysis. Um, we're not really going to do that in this um, tutorial, but it, it's there as an option. So let's add a motor. So I select the option and um, I'm going to use this gear as my motor. I'm just going to assume that you know the drive shaft is driven by a motor. So I've selected a cylindrical face. I'm going from the rotary motor option and I've got an RPM of 100. The RPM of 100 is a little bit fast. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit so we can see what's going on. It's going to go to 40 RPM, but we can also modify this. We're going to go with constant speed. You've got different options in here. Okay, right. So we have our we have our drive motor. So now we need some contact. So in the contact option, we can just simply select our large cog and our small cog, and these are contacts it's these are solid contacts we're telling solid works you can put friction in static and kinetic um it's not really relevant in in this basic interaction it might come into play if you've got parts moving and sliding against each other everything's pretty well constrained here so we need another contact so let's select contact and we'll have our cog and our runner or our link. I'm going to take the material off. We don't necessarily need to take the material off, but I'm, I'm doing this. So we've got a few more links. So now let's look at the link and the piston. So another contact. Okay, happy with that. Yes. And one more, we've got the housing that the link is running up and the piston. Maybe one more after this. And of course the link, because if we didn't put these two parts together, the whole thing would fall down. Okay, so we've got all our contacts. 
the simple, the basic mates are good enough to hold the key and any kind of like retaining pins. Um, so we don't really need to worry about them. And the shafts are, are held okay as well. But these parts are specifically moving against each other within the analysis. I'd like to disable the camera. Let's just tap calculate. So we've added all the mates. We added our drive motor. And now SolidWorks is going to go through an analysis. If it has any problems, it's going to freeze. But it's got through the analysis and it's uh, finished calculating. So now we can play. So press play. And it plays back the analysis at the RPM that we set the drive motor at. We've actually got it set to 0.5 speed. So if we went to one, it would actually go at the real speed. Um, but 0.1, we want to see it a little bit slower. So 0.1 speed, it was 40 RPM. would like to turn these uh turn the camera off at least delete the camera because I keep having to mess around with it just disabling the camera get it back to I'd like to just keep it in this view if I can Keep having to disable it. Perhaps I'll do another video in the future where I focus on the camera. Okay, we're, we're running at 0 0.1 speed here, 0 0.1 of 4, 40 RPM. Okay, let's play. And you can see everything is running in line. So that's the um, that's an animation, or well, that's a motion analysis, at least the basic one set up using all of the a bunch of solid body contacts and a drive motor. So I've been really careful to uh, simplify the mates before coming into this motion analysis as sim as much as possible because if you if you start using too many mechanical mates, it will throw everything off and everything will fly in different directions. So watch that when you're trying to run an analysis. OK, so let's now have a look at the animation wizard. I'm going to have a look at rotating a camera around this part as it plays. So let's just show you how that works. So we go next, we're going to have a look at which axis we want to use. We're going to use the Y axis and we're going to do a couple of rotations. So the animation, total time the animation lasts is five seconds. So we're going to do this over four seconds, I think. So just to show that you don't have to have it running throughout the entire thing. And then we're going to start after a second so that gives us takes us to the end so we've added a bunch of frames to the animation let's calculate so it's basically going to rotate around the y-axis during the animation let's play it back And there you go. That's basically how to simply add, add a rotational camera to your animation.